am running for trustee and to speaking to people that are in my ward, there's not one person that I'm encountering that has any sort of respect for what's what's happening here in the, in, in the Halton District School Board. This election is going to be very key and I know that there's myself and other trustees in different boards throughout Ontario who are running uh, to try to insert strong voices to counter the activist voices that are in boards throughout this province. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Burlington, Ontario, and uh, the protest against the Halton District School Board has just wrapped up. This is the site of a protest led by the People's Party of Canada. It's in regard to Mr. Kerry Luc Lemieux, going by the name now of Miss Kayla Lemieux. He is the one with those enormous fake breasts. He wears see-through tops with nipples protruding. He wears a long uh, blonde wig, tight bicycle pants. It's quite a spectacle. When I bumped into Catherine Cronus, uh, I'm surprised uh, she's not in prison right now, folks, because she is running for school board trustee. And look at her three main prongs of her election campaign. Promote merit-based education, inform parents, protect free speech. Catherine, this must be a misprint. Surely you don't believe in all this, do you? Uh, yes, I, I absolutely do. And I'm actually fighting for parents and I'm fighting for merit-based education and I'm fighting for free speech in Hamilton Wentworth District School Board. It's, ta it's about time. And Catherine, what do you make of this circus-like environment going on here in Halton and specifically uh, Oakville Trafalgar High School regarding this man, Mr. Lemieux, with these giant fake breasts, uh, breaking the dress code, breaking the shop rules. Um, what's your take on why this accommodation is occurring in the first place? I think we've just allowed it to go too far. I think that we should have been speaking up way in advance of this and that without any sort of pushback, and I think we need to get parents involved and parents pushing back, but unfortunately, this, it's taken this sort of extreme sort of uh, you know, incident to happen for parents to start to protest. But uh, yeah, I think it, it's gone way too far. And I can say that um, just um, because I am running for trustee and to speaking to people that are in my ward, there's not one person that I'm encountering that has any sort of uh, respect for what's, what's happening here in the, in, in the Halton District School Board. Oh, this is very significant. Yes. So when you go door knocking, Catherine, Parents are saying, I'm done with this nonsense? Yeah, if that's the general sense, is that they're fed up, everything is too far, this is, this is uh, absurd, absolutely absurd. Catherine, one last question. Municipal elections in Ontario, of course, October 24th. Typically and sadly, there's a low turnout for these elections. And when it comes to school board trustee, I don't think most people can even name their school board trustee. They simply, most people don't even vote for the trustee. What I'm wondering is, we look to the United States last November, we look to the state of Virginia, um, parents en masse came out to school board meetings. They were sick and tired of uh, indoctrination being shoved down their kids' throats. And by that I mean critical race theory and Marxism and radical transgenderism. And at the lowest elected position, look what happened. Look, the ball started to roll and the Democrat incumbent McAuliffe, who was supposed to win uh, in a no-brainer race, lost to the Republican Youngkin. So I guess what I'm getting at, from the very lowest level, you can actually enact change at the highest level. What do you have to say about that? Absolutely. 100%. I mean, the trustees, this election is going to be very key, and I know that there's myself and other trustees in different boards throughout Ontario who are running uh, to try to insert strong voices to counter the activist voices that are in boards throughout this province. And I think that with just a little bit of pushback, these activists, we shine a light on something that parents haven't been aware of. Um, I think that the movement here in Canada is just starting to gain some momentum and there's a lot of parents that are still, we need to sort of like, um, you know, wake them up and to see what's happening. But I think that that is happening and with, with trustees to be able to get onto school boards uh, after this, with this election uh, October 24th, I think that we're going to bring this into the public discourse and so that's going to help to um, educate parents. Sign our petition at protectthestudents.ca. 
That's protectthestudents.ca. Uh, you can make your uh, opinions known at that URL to the school board members. And when we assemble a critical mass of, of signatures, I will personally deliver it right here to the Halton District School Board, assuming they won't have uh, security and police block me. So again, go to protectthestudents.ca and make your voices heard.